Ladies and gentlemen, did you know Solomon Grundy was born on a Monday? We are going to watch Superman and Lois, episode four today. No beanie, just flat hair. That's Greg's motto for today. Hit that like button if you wish you could fly faster than a speeding bullet. Also subscribe and click that notification bell if you think Krypton deserve to be blown into pieces. Full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code, guess where they're at? That's right, that's right, Blind Waves Patreon page. We have joined up with them. Full length watch alongs over there. Check out all the content that we got to offer. Lastly, thanks to the boys over at Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. You guys are just so kind to us to do this for free. Let's swing into action, people. There is a hole inside of me, and I thought staying here with you would fill it, but it won't. I see you, but you can't help me. And Allie can? She already has. Oh, no. I don't force any of my congregants to do anything they don't want to do. So the inverse society is a religion now? Mm. Call it whatever you like. How about a cult? But not that. <laughs> anything but that. I am going to make sure that Lucy and everyone else you have infected sees you for the absolute fraud that you are. And then I'm going to take you down once and for all. <laughs> no, Lois. Oh, oh shit. I don't respond well to threats, Lois. Neither do I. Super bad? Yeah. Murder. <laughs> Get out this. <laughs> the beacon. You were right, we need to find my sister. And Lucy. <laughs> There's that fire breath. Ooh. <laughs> Memory link. Everything is so bizarre! <laughs> She's been listening to that podcast all morning. Don't use your super hearing on your mother, okay? Trust me. <laughs> She'll talk so much shit about you, man. <laughs> you need a lot of uncomfortable stuff. She's so far gone. So find a way to bring her back. I'm gonna try. John Henry Irons. <laughs> Can you go get Lucy for me? <laughs> We're about to have the best quinceañera that Smallville has ever seen. La única que han visto. Pues tendremos que mostrarles cómo se hace. It's the first time they've spoken Spanish in years. Dean, I think he's trying to dig up your past and use it against you. They were asking about Sarah, too. I appreciate it, Emily. Thank you. This is a cutthroat small town. It's a problem when everyone knows each other. It's been nice showing the boys something other than the city. No, yeah. for that, too. She's really starting to like it here. And nothing will change that. Oh, it's coming oh, here. Oh, no, he's showing up. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Oh, no! I love the music. They're playing in reverse music. or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's backwards. Oh, no. You're not wearing your gauntlet, John. No! Ouch. Ow. <laughs> It almost looked like he had more skin tone when he went off. The dark web, the place where the real creepers hang out, which is where I have been catfishing all night using probably my best alias. Go Chrissy. Penelope Collins. Penny for short. She's a young, impressionable <laughs> blonde from Iowa City struggling to find herself. That name sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh no, she has come so far. What if this sets her back? She is stronger than you think. We're just gonna have to trust her. She should have a heads up at least, yeah. probably. At least tell her to look out for people creeping around for info. Well, for me, I mainly feel stronger, but when Kendall took it, she swears she heard her mom at work a couple miles away. Oh, no. I don't really know if it's my thing. Just so you know, Timmy, he bought like five inhalers on Saturday, so he might be pretty tough to beat without some help. 
You're awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has a very specific energy signature, which we now have. I saw what that thing did to you with the mines. You need help. And there's probably nobody better to ask than Anderson and that team of his. Super men? <laughs> Super friends? So is, is this why you're not doing cheer anymore? Yeah, pretty much. But also, the girl's gone like really weird since Kaz became captain. I don't, no offense. None taken. John's never had the best taste in women. It's too bad. It's cute. Oh. Uh, what do I have to take? Put it in your jacket. Let's get out of here. Yes. Vanquish these criminals. Hey! Cushy, it's it's cool. My dad has the whole place under surveillance. Oh no, Jordan. There's finally some real stakes in this show. <laughs> Clip's gonna go viral. Just laser the security camera. I scrambled the original. How, how did you? Son. I used to run the United States Department of Defense. Cleaning this up is easier than Candy Crush. A little to the left, you would have been in a blind spot. <laughs> Tips huh. from Grandpa. I can do this. All right, just go in there. Look for my sister. If you see her, text me. Got it. Aw, oh, crap. She's going to join the cult. <laughs> she could get brainwashed. If you don't know what's missing, you're never going to be able to find it. That's why you're here. Today, with me so that I can show you what that missing piece is. Oh man, she's too drawn. Wasn't keeping anything from you. We'll see what we can find. You find it, you let me know. You're in no condition to stop anything. Your team isn't ready, General. I have to do this alone, so please, just let me know. Say the Pledge of Allegiance, <laughs> and we can talk. Yeah! yeah. Set that yeah. reset! Oh. Yeah, right here on the sidelines. Line it up! I really would have gotten more familiar with how this works first. <laughs> nah, just try <laughs> that right <in> practice. <laughs> it's called practice for a reason. Ooh, oh. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Oh. X K. X Kryptonite. Fix off for everything. Timmy, you're fired. I love it. I take some. Five minutes, please. It's the least you could do for me after you sent Allie to meet me instead of you. Fine. Room four fifty-two. Come alone, just not right now. This hole that we carry. This deep, deep pain is one that only we can heal ourselves. With Xenu. Because once the person who deceived us gets away with it, that pain never goes away. Uh -oh. Isn't that right, Miss Beppo? Hmm. I, I'm Penny. Awkward. You hide the truth to fit your own special narrative. Mm. Lois Lane is the best reporter I've ever met. You should meet more reporters. Ha ha ha. I understand your confusion, but maybe this will help change your mind. Your article on Allie wasn't what we agreed on. Oh. Why didn't you publish what I saw? Because I was trying to protect you. You sounded insane. Allie was right, and you know it. She's a monster. I know that was not easy to hear, Christine. How about the fact of how fucked up it is with the security <laughs> fucking camera. surveillance in there? Jesus. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah, I heard. Ali broadcasted for the whole room to see. It's a lot more to this article than you first led me to believe. You really don't trust me, do you? Chrissy, I can explain. So if that ignorant loser wants to attack me, then fine, let him. I'd love to get up on that debate stage and tell everybody what I think about that country fried ass. No, oh, well, I thought she was gonna say the C word. <laughs> <I did too. laughs> Whoa! Hmm. What are you doing? Uh -oh. That bird was gonna hit me. That bird way over there? Honestly, you know what? I, I think it's probably this new medication I've been taking. Look, a little friendly advice. Maybe, maybe stop taking those meds. Nah, not yet. Not until it gets nice and bad. 
You sure it's the same energy signature? Yes, sir. Satellites confirm. Are you ready? You sure we don't need to alert Superman, sir? He's in no shape to fight this thing. Bring it here. Cool! <laughs> That's not Superman. That's be really upset for the episode. <laughs> We're the Superman of America, and we need you to come with us. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of everything. Oh, oh shit. Oh. This team just stops this guy. Can they? Two are already dead. Don't kill Tag. Grab it. Go! Mm. <laughs> Those teeth. Cool. Ugh. Your suit is at 10% functionality, John. The hammer is low on energy, and defense shields have been severely compromised. You're just here for moral support. Turn around, John. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Holy damn! John, look out! No! Oh, that's not gonna end well. Oh my god! Oh no! Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Shit. We got bodies to bring back. Oh man, that was crazy. Oh, I thought that door handle was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, mom, jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to kiss me, mom? <laughs> just come at me like that. Give me some warning. How could you let this happen? <laughs> Just go. Just leave us alone. Well, if it isn't my favorite public service. Don't. You listen here, you smoke son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 hold on. Kyle. I'm gonna be watching you. Well, that goes two ways, Kyle. For a man who likes his tequila neat, word around town is you sure can get messy with it. <laughs> Don't let him get in your head. That's just what he wants. Okay, you're sober now. That's all that matters. Okay? Yeah. Damn, this guy knows how to make him feel. Make his whole family feel ashamed. All's fair in politics. With everything that's happened recently, I... I think I should be ready to help, Dad. <laughs> I want you to train me. Okay. Oh, oh. Go get some rest. You're gonna need it. Go learn how to use a gun in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at 0500. <laughs> <laughs> No longer in school. Kush, you're bad. <laughs> oh shit, Kyle, what are you doing? Dude. He is not sober, is he? Get on that wagon, buddy. I've missed you around here. But not nearly as much as I have. <gasps> yeah, it's actually uh, what I came here to talk to you about. <gasps> no. What? Kyle. Kyle. You've Lana is so, so fine. Far. <laughs> <laughs> I need that too. Whatever I have to do to stop her, I will. Not even you can stop the truth from coming out. Watch me. Oh. Damn, this episode's like a psychological thriller. Can you meet me? I want you to tell me the truth about Lois. Uh -huh. oh. You are so annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Chrissy. Oh, God. She really got on my nerves. I'm serious. It's okay. I feel you. But hey, she's seen a lot. 
But if she were a man, I wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I want to know that. I don't trust that Lois Lane. Go look into her. <laughs> yeah. You know women. <laughs> Always trying to bend the truth. <laughs> Wow, after last week's tease, this episode delivered with non-stop bizarro. <laughs> That's right, man. Jeez, give us a break give from us that a break. bizarro Let's get plot back line. to the other storylines. What's anyone else second. doing? <laughs> What's any other character other than Bizarro doing? Please. Um, what exactly was <laughs> Lois? What What's your interpret your take on everything Lois was hiding exactly? I, uh, it's a little, a little muddy on that. We could play it back, but yeah, why do that? I mean, she she hid the part where it seemed as though, like, she hid the most compellingly debatable part, which is was Lucy actually glimpsing her other self on the other side of whatever the void this is that she got that place that she got to when she took all those pills. Uh, or was that just a drug-addled hallucination? And I guess that whole bit was kept, which is the linchpin to the legitimacy of the Allie Alston thing. Is, uh, is the main thing it seems like it was messed up that she withheld? That's what I got from it. Yeah. Oh, Chrissy, you are just so <laughs> fucking frustrating sometimes. Like, <laughs> not even... Not even like a second. She was already kind of frustrating in the first two episodes of Podcast says this, I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and just constantly, every time you check back with her, she's just obsessing yeah. over the podcast. And then this happens, and you're like, come on, all right. Again, it's not a hundred percent the the what like what is this dream Chrissy has of like the uh, um she wants just like the purest to the purest of the pure journalism and I get that like I get it I do <laughs> believe me I do simultaneously it's <laughs> like do you not have a history with this woman do you not have yeah. like a, the amount of good it was none you're like completely disregarding any goodwill she had her sister involved it wasn't just some like personal bias of a situation uh, uh, in the terms of like, I met you and I formed a bias based off of this. It was like, it was her sister and she is also made witness to a lot more of her behavior than just th this whole thing with uh, Ali Al Alston? Yeah. Right. Alston, yeah. Alston? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> or I, I, I just, I think that like uh, being upset totally valid like if you're upset like you didn't tell me the whole truth totally get it but then to be like Allie tell me the truth about Lois yeah, <laughs> like Jesus yeah, Christ yeah, yeah. talk to Lois <laughs> it is so frustrating it, 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 it is it, so frustrating it, re like, it, it pisses me off of all the things I do feel like that story could use an additional shade of nuance and they do it with Lois and they do it with Lucy but when it comes to Chrissy I feel like yeah and maybe it's just because in a show with a lot of storylines to maintain it's not the highest priority but yeah like some additional shade of nuance like I don't begrudge her the suspicion and the somewhat dismay but yeah, the way it's handled, it, it so far feels like you just really don't trust Lois at all. <laughs> and just like any kind of attempt, like it has to be part of, and I grant she's at a smaller town newspaper, that's where her experience comes from, but I don't know, like uh, reporters especially involved in a situation like that, I'm sure would be embroiled in some level of controversy and that would be to be expected. So like, yeah, I don't know, some tempering of that or maybe a little bit of lowest benefit of the doubt would be nice. <laughs> or a little bit of acknowledgement that clearly Allie and Lucy worked together to manipulate Chrissy to come over there and the whole conference. This whole thing was for you. This whole seminar was based around placing a hidden camera there so Lucy can feign being hurt so that way, because I was like, man, something's up with this chick's acting. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yep. and then she started, started sounding actually very real when she, like, revealed what she was really doing. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, there we go. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's like this whole thing is so manipulative. It's, it, it, it's, and 
granted, like, yes, she's being a journalist and sneaking in and being undercover and did her manipulative thing too, but I'm like, but come on. <laughs> like, you, you can't just suddenly throw your, tr like, it just seems like anytime something's said about her, Chrissy just doubts Lois and just entire. believes it immediately. Yeah, instead yeah. of just being like, it was your sister, and I get that she would have sounded like she was tripping on drugs. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There, or, 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 you know, I don't know. For as much as I get also the whole thing about, like, when it's your family, it's different rules. I don't know. Like, it seems like, yeah, you could at least understand the, the difficulty and the grayness of the overall situation enough to be like, wow, this is a really big mess of a situation to have to deal with not like oh you're you're a malicious you're a reporter of malicious intent you know or something like that but hopefully it gets the ironic part is i really like the episode a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the ironic Great. part it's just that dave christie get him up goddamn nerves i'm rooting for her storyline to pick up i don't know i mean maybe in the next episode she'll go in with the guys of like tell me all about lois but hey hopefully she'll have her reporter hat on to also have a suspicious eye on ally alliston she's like she's clearly clearly a cult leader. she's clearly she's got that pollen let me have a meeting with lois and boom secret men yes, <laughs> guarding me everyone in the bar is a secret person of mine yeah. and the coffee house yeah. such bullshit guys come on yeah um but no i mean this whole episode was pretty much dealing with people making mistakes and the consequences of those mistakes rash decisions Jonathan taking XK. Good for him. <laughs> Good yeah. for him. Take your XK. Yeah, get those football scholarships. I really do like storylines about people who take a substance that really enhances their senses. Yeah. Where they're like freaking awesome <laughs> whatever it is they want to do. They have, they have movie autism at that point where they just notice every detail and are great at everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. are a bit jumpy. <laughs> uh, I did like I did like uh, him doing that because it's about time Jonathan broke bad a little bit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And I'm excited to see where that goes to. How many more birds attack him? Just that girlfriend of his is a freaking little drug addict manipulator. Yeah, she's yeah. supplying like the whole town with this Jonathan's stuff. Jonathan's like, I want to do it. And she's like, oh, I, I love you. But you just know your you competition want. bought like five of them the yeah. other day. So just saying. Do what you want, though. Like, hey, I respect want. it. I respect it. I respect it. your choice. Be a teetotaler and. But I'm definitely yeah. pushing. But also, if you want to have any self esteem whatsoever, <laughs> <laughs> by the end of this season, you better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like people trying to preserve their morals no matter what. Mm -hmm. This got brought up a lot. I expressed this in the reaction um, in last week's episode, but not during the review. I didn't really dive into it. Was how people were upset with Sarah. Um, like we were making our jokes about it because it was like, but you still cheated and it's just, why is Jordan making it look like he's the bad guy in the situation? <laughs> I saw that, I saw that echoed a lot in the comments on last week's episode. It's that's like a fair. lot of that's not really, it somehow is like they treat Jordan like, you 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 need to like just forgive her and move on. And uh, I wasn't like, super bothered by it, but I definitely noticed it in the show. I see it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. There's a layer, again, another layer of nuance they could have put on that. <laughs> yeah, it was like, Jordan doesn't deserve you if he doesn't come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 if he doesn't. I, yeah, it's yeah. like, I like the whole thing about, you know, there's something to be said for the fact that she just came to him and said it, but also, yeah. It's totally reasonable to be like, also, you violated the trust that we yeah, <laughs> left yeah. off with. <laughs> so. And uh, and then so with this episode, though, I, the way they're painting Sarah is interesting. It just seems like no matter what, you ain't going to shame this girl. Yeah, we'll just, see how well that holds up. <laughs> yeah, because this mayor guy, he knows how to just get right underneath your skin. Yeah. And he does have the dirt on people. He's flat out cheating. He alley ooped. He, Dude, he used Lois is, Sarah as a pawn. This Lana's better looking than that bartender. I know. 
Maybe Kyle got so drunk he so thought it was sorry her. The actors are watching this the reaction. <laughs> hey, we're Manu- part of it. Manuel Shakri is always just <laughs> we're feeling it over. She's super happy for all the comments. Sure. <laughs> we're part about doing these, and when you find out, like, oh, they watch this. They saw that. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Let me rephrase everything I've ever said. I'm just thinking about the characters. Yeah, man. Um, but no. Nah. Infidelity, man, it's bad. I know, what a dumbass. <sighs> just when you thought Kyle was doing it, everyone's just making terrible mistakes. But I like a show that challenges your characters. Absolutely. It's a bit of a slingshot, though, admittedly, though, because it's like, wow, we are really challenging our characters. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. last season, you know, Kyle had his problems and shit, but uh, this time around, they're like, let's really let everyone make some bad choices and, yeah, and, let's, and do things that are not right. And, and let's I, let people in town really get under each other's skin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like it, though. I like it. Usually a season one would have a little bit more of that planted throughout, and mm-hmm. then this one's this season just going, not Jonathan's getting on drugs. Lois <laughs> is not a fully honest reporter sometimes. <laughs> and uh, what was the other and, one? Uh, Kyle's a cheater. Kyle's a cheater. <laughs> and uh, Sarah had a suicide attempt. But she's and Sarah's, a Sarah's a cheater. <laughs> Sarah's a cheater. Sarah's a cheater too. Yeah. Runs the family. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yes. And uh, Clark gets John Henry into too many dangerous scenarios. I know. It was barely it was a weird thing to follow up Bizarro with like not Everyone much focus. Else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems like like Clark's involvement in this episode, him and Bizarro both was was mostly physical and mostly I mean, you know, there's mostly. the mostly de- all physical. <laughs> <laughs> and mostly to develop, you know, further stakes with John Henry really and to show how like outmatched the super friends are, the super men of America or whatever they call themselves. Yeah, super men of America. And uh that was a cool fight though they had between them. Mhm. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't really um, learn like anything. anything. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> nothing, like, nothing to him <laughs> yet. This is Bizarro showing him, oh, everything's in reverse with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I like. It. I, I like the music cue a lot. Love though. the you music. That, is, what music is that? Is that it's obviously being played in reverse. It's, but, uh, but it's, I, is it the Superman? Is it the score of this? I would have to imagine. Like, I bet they would take Clark's light motif or whatever, and then reverse it or, or something. Wait, if, if there's like a register? yeah, if there's like a specific Superman suite they had, that that would be my that would make the most sense to me. Yeah. But yeah, like it's funny because that's such a big reveal. And while I liked all the Bizarro stuff here, it didn't feel like it built on that almost at all. <laughs> well, also Superman didn't ask John Henry to show up. I mean, it was still the guilt, though, of not protecting him. Yeah. Because John Henry's always locked. Um, I need it. Uh, right, I'll come in. <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping in. <laughs> Clark's going I off. Uh, I better go just in case. I don't have my suit. Let me just grab. I like I like the realism that's, of that, too. I'm yeah. like, ooh, that's got hurt. Yeah. yeah. Your gauntlet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Good yeah. luck with that hand. That's cool. And yeah. uh, him showing up to help save the day, too. Bizarre does seem like a threat, but... Really? What's happening here? Like, Clark is, like, weakened, right, when he's around him? It, it, somehow, Clark is uh, just not as strong, which is not fair. I couldn't not tell. fair. <laughs> to I, do could, to Clark. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was, like, a Hancock thing, almost, where it's, like, the closer they get to each other, the more different effects. They, it seemed like, as the episode went on, Clark was able to at least gain some power control against Bizarro. Yeah, yeah, punched him. Did that, like, flying in the air, right hook thing a billion times. Yeah. So I don't, I can't really tell. Um, I like the, I like that they've really established, like, that they're kind of seeing through each other's eyes and things like that. But it really does get me curious about what you know, it doesn't seem like this is verbatim, you know, obviously like the classic Bizarro. So it makes me wonder what themes of that character's general story they're going to take and how they're going to play it. Because I feel like from what little I know about the finer workings of Bizarro as a character, there's like a Frankenstein monster aspect where that doesn't really feel like what it is right now. I mean, it feels a lot more outwardly menacing and a lot more outwardly chaotic, but I don't know. I'm excited. I'm eager to see how they start to address how do you get here? You know, like, what is the nature of this universe as Bizarro? I think he's going to kill Lois and then work with the people who brought him to life to resurrect her. Yes, as Bizarro Lois. Yeah, make B- it the bride. Bizarrous. <laughs> make her. Or the bride. Yeah, yeah, it's only. It's alive. 
Yeah, and then we'll have like a romance for the second half of the season between the Bizarros. They'll move into the t <laughs> the farm across the way. Do you think if Jonathan had powers, the XK would activate it in some way? Yeah. Which, again, yeah, that's a good point. I hadn't, I hadn't touched on that. But yeah, there's that still lingering question of, is he just a normal boy? Or yeah, is this going to awaken something? Although I feel like my money would be on that that this is the extent of like whatever XK gives him his, is his power, but he doesn't innately have it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we are done for the day. <laughs> we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>